What's going on everybody? Tmart here and I'm very excited to bring you another commentary. It's actually my second full length commentary. I've kind of been focusing on the Modern Warfare 2 101, you know, short video tips and tricks series. But I want to start bringing more commentaries. I do. I, I will continue the Modern Warfare 2 101 series as well though. So uh, I hope you get the best out of both worlds there and I hope you learn some stuff. But uh, first of all I want to say there is something pretty unique going on later on in the video and uh, it kind of shows our thought process as we go through capping a flag and it can be applied to this map of course but it can be applied to everywhere else as well so I really hope you guys stick around for that I think you're going to enjoy it and I think you'll learn from it because uh, as I say I want you to learn from every single one of my videos but right now I'm going to pull a six winner and uh, if you guys don't know him he's another YouTube commentator he's a great commentator I'll post the link in the description and go check him out sub him up but he always describes what he's drinking before every match. And right now, I am sipping on a raspberry lemonade cooler. It's from Culver's. Culver's is a fast food restaurant for burgers. They've got some of the best burgers I've ever had. Uh, but this is definitely the best drink I've ever had. And if you are not blessed enough to have a Culver's near you, you need to go find one. I don't care if you have to uh, drive across the country. I mean, these things are orgasmic. So, I am not a food critic or a restaurant restaurant critics I am a Call of Duty player so let's get to this game obviously we're playing some CTF on crash um, I'm rocking the mini Uzi silence with the PP2000 is my secondary and uh, this isn't your average YouTube commentary a lot of players like to upload uh, flawless free for all 60 kill uh, uh, dominations nukes whatever I like to upload that stuff too but I want to take a different route this time and I'm showing you some pretty much purely objective play. I do end up getting a decent score at the end, it's not the greatest, but um, I do get a lot of flag caps and we just absolutely run through this team and uh, you know it's it's not always all about the kills, all about the air support and all about the KD ratio. Uh, someone's got to do the dirty work and uh, that's me and Woody's job here. So uh, we're playing a 4v4 team tactical and we've got me, Woody, Wayne and Joker and we've got uh, pretty much different roles in this match me and Woody are the ones running with SMGs with Marathon and Lightweight and uh, we're capping these flags we're taking turns we're running together in a pack we're taking out the other team and we're pulling the flag now Wayne he is our mid slayer he's the guy sitting in the middle of the map shooting people covering our flanks you know killing the people who are trying to kill us and just kind of putting the other team on a respawn delay so that we can get in and get that flag and Joker uh, he's sitting back in the back playing some defense and the other team never really gets too close to our flag in this game but his job is basically to make sure that those sneaky beavers who try to get back in our base and wait for us to come around the corner he's gotta kill those guys before me or Woody come around with the flag and this works very well I mean uh, uh, you don't necessarily need two flag runners but that's what we decided to go with sometimes you can have two mid slayers uh, I think two defenders is kind of uh, overkill unless the other team is just straight rushing but uh, you know you can do it however you want you know uh, it, it's all up to your gameplay and your style of play and just your communication and how things work out so just play to your strength and uh, you don't necessarily have to play exactly how we play but uh, for kill streaks, you know, it's basically Joker's job to get kill streaks up in this game. He's not going to be dying too much. Uh, me and Woody, you know, we're trying to keep it low. I actually forgot to change my kill streaks. I'm still running a 379. And I actually only get UAVs. I never get my Harrier and my Pavlo. Um, uh, Wayne's probably going to put up a couple kill streaks here and there, but he's also going to be dying because he's got to put himself in some situations. You know, he's got to sacrifice himself for me or Woody. And uh, so that's that's basically how it works. Me and Woody are just running around capping flags, and a lot of people are under the mistake in the mistake that uh, uh, as a flag runner, as the objective player, you've got to run in, grab the flag, and run out. Uh, you've got to be more aware than that. You've got to get kills as a objective player. I I know that's a hard concept, but. Uh, you're going to be dying a lot if you don't go in cautiously. A lot of people like to just run in reckless, not check their corners, and uh, you're going to get blasted, man. So you you got to be observant, you got to be aware, and yeah, you're going to have to do some killing. You might have to outshoot a couple people when they have stopping power and you have lightweight, but that's just 
just a sign of a good objective player if you can do that. But uh, there's one thing I want to talk about that doesn't necessarily have to do with this game is uh, the 379 killstreak setup. I learned it from Bash. He, uh, I recently discovered him. I guess he's not that uh, uh, not that old, old of a commentator, but he's not that new either. Uh, but he is a really good commentator. I've I've watched maybe four or five of his videos. I really like him. I'll put a description or a link in the description to his uh, profile. But uh, he just he seems like he has a good time. He seems like he enjoys to play and he just likes to. Uh, provide that to his subscribers as well and he's got a machinima respawn and a sports contract and he's only got uh, about two thousand three thousand subscribers so that's pretty impressive you know you're doing something right if you're if you're that young and you've got that much accomplished uh, but in one of his videos he was talking about how he was occasionally having trouble getting those predator missiles worked up so he can get his seven and nine kill streaks and he decided to try out the three seven nine and he said it was a lot easier and so you know I thought I had to try this and by golly it is uh, it's so easy to get three kills it's not funny and then when you've got that UAV for 30 seconds you know exactly where the enemy team is and it's not hard at all to get another four but yeah I really suggest you guys try it out I think it's a very strong setup and I think it'll help out a ton of but we're coming up on the part of the video that's pretty unique. I haven't really seen it done before, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it. But, yep, uh, here it is. Enjoy. Okay, now I pulled the flag, and let's zoom out here. Um, you're going to see where my team's set up. Woody is over in the side alley. Wayne's in the fish market. And Joker is back in our spawn watching our flag. Now, the other team was pretty much all down, so when they spawn, they're most likely going to be near the three-story, either in the dumpster field, or over on the side near the generators. So with that, I take the flag and I run it towards side alley because that's going to give me the most cover from the enemy team and pretty much allow my teammates to back me up the most. Now when the enemy team sees I have the flag, their first reaction for the people in the dumpster field is going to be to run towards sandbag building and try to cut me off there. The people that spawned over by generators are going to try to run by heli or by blue and try to, you know, catch me off guard as I run across. So it's going to be my teammates' jobs to stop the enemy team and their attempts to stop me. And uh, it's their job to make sure that I have a safe capture. So Woody, he's going to come from side alley and he's going to take out the people at sandbags. Wayne is going to move up. He's going to take Heli in the blue building and stop those people. And Joker is going to sit back in the spawn. He's going to make sure that no one sneaks in there and no one's waiting around the corner waiting for me to come. Once I get into the side alley, I've got one more dangerous situation to face, and that's running across from the green car in the side alley past the hotel and getting to the capture. Why this is so dangerous is it's very susceptible to fire from the enemy if they're in the three-story, which is where they're at. So what I do to try to avoid getting shot and killed is I duck my head down and I look at the ground. What this does is it makes my body go to a 90 degree angle and it decreases the amount of space that I take up by about half. It also kind of hides my head away and uh, decreases the chance that the enemy team will get a lucky headshot on me which would kill me instantly. While I'm doing this, Joker, who's up in the hotel, he is watching all my alleys. He's got to watch the alley by the green car, he's got to watch the middle alley, and he's got to watch the back blue alley. He's got to make sure that no one comes around there and kills me at the last second so that they can return the flag. And if all of that goes well, uh, we're going to get the flag capture. And as you can see, that's exactly how it went. I run across the opening, unscathed, and get an easy capture. Now let's zoom out here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to turn right and go down Blue Alley and just basically run the loop. As Woody grabs the flag and goes and captures it, I'll pick the flag back up from their spawn and capture it. Then he'll pick the flag up and capture it. And it's just a continuous loop. Uh, we were running through teams last night. CTF was no problem. Racking up the points and racking up the wins. I really suggest you guys try this little strategy out. I guarantee you, you will win a ton of matches. Enough of that. I, uh, I want to get to something before this video wraps up. And by the way, this part's being fast forwarded because I get a couple of assists and a couple of deaths. It's not that interesting to watch and then on top of that I gotta meet the 11 minute time limit so uh, that's that but what I've been kinda contemplating about is having an open lobby. You know um, I've been in a couple of them they're a lot of fun and I want to offer that to my subscribers but I'm not sure if there's an, enough uh, support for that. I don't know if you guys want to do it because uh, there aren't a ton of you on this channel yet and I was probably going to wait until a later date until I had more people but if there's enough people who want to do it now then I'd be more than happy to do it 
And the reason why I'm kind of thinking about this now is one of my subscribers, his gamer tag is www7598. He's a really cool dude. Shout out to you. But anyway, uh, he asked me if I would be running an open lobby anytime. And I kind of told him, you know, I've been thinking about it, but I just, I don't think there's enough people interested in it yet. And I don't want to waste my time if we're going to have four people in the lobby. So if you would like an open lobby, go ahead and leave a comment, send me a message over Xbox or YouTube, and if there's enough people, I'll definitely get that started. If there's not enough people yet, um, and you still want to play, you want to hit up some pubs some night or something like that, go ahead and send me a message for that as well. Uh, I'll make sure I get some playing time with you. But I promise in the future, once we get enough people interested, there will be a ton of open lobbies. But uh, this video is pretty much over. Um, uh, it's just proof that you know you don't have to be a kill whore. You can get flag caps. You can still do good. Uh, everyone on our team went positive. I went 24 and 10. So uh, it was a decent game kill-wise, but it was an awesome game objective-wise. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'm out.